So yesterday I have a problem with uh, barcoding in Cognos Report Studio. Surprisingly for me, I searched and there's nothing in the web. There are some generic solutions out there, but nothing really. So I went and looked at the software, just play around with it and found a solution. So I'm sharing this solution with you. Hopefully you'll find it helpful. So we are now looking at the front end of IBM Cognos Report Studio. We're going to create a new report. Choose a blank report. Hit OK. OK, and select on Queries. And we're going to drag that SQL query to the right. But before that, we have to select a data source. We can rename this, or if you don't want, you can just leave it as it is. I rename it part square because I'm going to create a SQL for the parts database or the parts table. Double click and write a simple SQL query from the parts table. And I'm going to use parts code twice on a different manner. So I'm going to type it there twice with the second one with an alias. And we're just going to put a uh, where close here for just one part number so we don't have to build uh, complex um, logic for um, querying one part number. So we're going to look at the query and I'm showing you now the data items that are available for the reports for the report. Look at page 1 which is the front of the resulting report and we're going to put an object there which in this case is a table. Remember that we're going to create a barcode label and uh, that barcode label uh, it's best to have a table three rows and um, one column. So we're going to format that now so it looks like a real label. Look at the properties and change it. We're going to change it to 4 by 2 inches. We're going to use inches here. Okay, so that's how it would look like after you format it. Now we're ready to put our data items there. Put the part number, the part code. Hit OK. 
also the part description part description here hit ok and last is the another part code and hit ok so you have, you have two part codes and one description the two part codes will be used differently we're gonna go to the page structure let's do one more thing here what we're gonna do is we're gonna center that uh, part number or part code at this uh, yeah we're gonna center that okay go back to page design it's gonna be centered there all right so let's test the report if you notice we don't have a barcode yet okay so just want to show you what it looks like in its uh, row form so we're going to modify that part code field and change the font to ID Automation C128M. M is for medium, 128 is for code 128 in barcoding. Let's test it again. Print to PDF. It is obviously small, so we're going to adjust that and change the size to a larger font. All right, we got that barcode and we got the desired size, but this is not working. We're still missing something. Let's go to the properties of the parts code again. And let's go to the functions. We will have, as you notice, a report functions. We're going to choose a function there. The function is code 128B STR. Let's insert that. And obviously, we're missing one um, parenthesis. And that should validate OK. Uh, just want to show you if we have a wrong or a bad code it's going to give you an error if you validate it so put back the parenthesis validate OK and hit OK try again run the report and that's the good report that will print or that will create a barcode to demonstrate to you we're gonna scan this barcode we're gonna put the notepad there and in my computer I have a barcode scanner and we're gonna start scanning that do it all right please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell I would really really appreciate it thank you for watching